So we got two old McCulloch's 1010s and a McCulloch 850 here. Pro Mac 850. That need some work done to them. Because I got some big trees to cut down here. It's 850. Two 1010s. And a nice 36 inch bar. Here we go. This is a couple trees I'm talking about. We got a nice big dead tree hanging right over my bedroom and over my trailer, boat, and my truck. So that'll be a four for one shot if this thing falls in a big windstorm. And then I got another one next to it. It's almost dead. And then that sucker, if you can see that, is dropping limbs like crazy. Widowmakers everywhere as I'm cutting the grass, dropping on my head. So it needs to go. Another shot at this tree here. Right over the bedroom and the deck. And I will be here the other two. I'll be working in my workshop today. We just built which I am in my glory over here. It's a 33 by 30, 990 square foot. That's as big as the township will allow me to, to build. And two 16 by 16 garage doors, just in case I like to hit stuff with my trailer. And they made me built this retaining wall back here that I can touch on later. I, I think it came out pretty decent for doing a bunch of guys that don't know anything. Let me clear up my work table and get started, I guess. I got this Pro Mac 850, 200 bucks. I could not believe it. It's like, it's as min as I need it. And the thing runs like a champ. The um, kid was selling it. And I guess he was, needed some money quick. So, He, he posted it online on Facebook for 400 bucks. And I was searching all over Facebook, uh, eBay, everywhere for a saw bigger than like a little Powlin 42 or Pullin, however you pronounce it. And uh, I found this and I offered, I said, will you take 200 by chance? And he said, yeah, come on and take it. So I drove two hours. I'm in PA. I drove to Jersey, Central Jersey. Two hours. And uh, my wife was pissed because I told her it was 15 minutes away. And after two and a half hours, she was saying, where are you? And uh, he told me that the... Another guy came and offered him 200 and he said, yeah, I'll take that. And the dude got in his car and drove away and didn't want it anymore, I guess. He, he was talking to him. The guy ran to his car and drove away. So lucky for me, he was already warmed up to 200 bucks. So I said, yeah, I'll come take it. And the thing is, is mint, I think. Beautiful. So has the plate on it. If you can read that whatever and uh he said it wasn't running which why he took 200 bucks and i threw a new plug in it i cleaned the carb took me 15 minutes things started right up 
and cut down a tree about 20 minutes later so the thing rocks all right get these bar knots off Here we go. Hey, it's a new bar nut. These aren't the right ones. Yes, it needs clean. So what I'm thinking is, the tensioner on the, the little nub is so worn off that I think that it's just slipping through the tensioner holes. And I think I can add a, couple tacks to it with a MIG welder and that will solve my problem and I think I have to do that on all three of them which is so much fun clean this baby up real quick Clean it up with a little brake clean and no it did not take the paint off i know people worry about that all the time and if it did to all you collectors i don't care so again if you can see that little nub right there on the tensioner is pretty flat and worn so let's get to miggin Grind it down.
The little a little piece of metal guard there. Is, I guess gotta go inside but it doesn't fit, so let's keep going. So what I do here is it's tight when you let the bar droop. When you lift up on it, it's loose. So I like to have that little bit of play. Tighten it a little bit. So you're not making it too tight. When you're bucking wood and when you're felling a tree, you probably want to have it a little bit tighter so that when you hold it sideways it doesn't fall off the off the track there. So that's good. Now what I do is, when you go to tighten the bar nuts, lift up on the body and it'll move for you, make it a lot easier. Give it a nice crack. All right. Now it'll be tight enough to stay on, loose enough to ride smoothly. That's what you want. On to the next one. And I believe that should fix our problem. So what I found for the 1010 here Pretty dirty again. Somebody did not clean this. Anyway, same problem, I believe. The adjuster is too short because it's so worn off. So let's get the welding. 